Welcome to Divine Femme TV. My name is Sarah Rose and it is an honor and a blessing to be able to to serve the courageous souls that are part of this collective awakening into heart-centered unity consciousness. So that being said, if you're listening to this on the podcast, I would love it if you leave a review and consider joining us over on YouTube at Divine Femme TV, where you can connect, leave comments, and I personally try to respond to as many of those as possible. This message is for the Divine Feminines that resonate as a light worker, a way shower, someone who has known since they were very young, that they're here to do something big, someone that's been very divinely guided since you can remember. You are mastering the process of alchemy right now, true spiritual alchemy. And this means that you are also a walking, talking catalyst for massive change and transformation. And so you may be experiencing people within your environment, your social circles, your workplace. People that come into your environment are naturally triggered. The same light that attracts them to you also triggers their shadow. And so this is a very challenging role to be in. It can also be one that can be very isolating. Um, and this is part of the path. You're not crazy. Nothing's going wrong. You likely prefer solitude over big crowds of people, although part of your gift is to be around others. One thing that is coming up that's really important to know or remind yourself is that you cannot compare your path to anybody else that you're seeing. It's not going to look like anybody else's path. So the metaphor, the image is kind of coming to my mind is a, an amusement park full of rides and roller coasters, right? These roller coasters have really big high peaks and they have really, really low lows and they can be really exhilarating and they can also be really scary. And humanity is like taking their ticket to the amusement park and trying all the rides right you try all the rides and there's nothing wrong with that that's part of the process you go try all the rides you have all the thrills you have all the lows and and you realize that eventually the highs and the pleasure and the joy that you get are very fleeting And the lows that you experience are very excruciating. And so at a certain point on the soul's journey, you decide to stop going to the amusement park and you're willing to trade in the temporary fleeting joy or pleasure that also gets blocked by its opposite for the undisturbed peace and, and bliss and contentment of being that is always there despite what's happening in the show, right? Because when you're at the amusement park, it's all very real and it's all very scary and it's all very thrilling and it's all very convincing, right? And you kind of get taken for a ride, right? You get taken for a ride. When you're high, you're high. When you're low, you're low. And you're kind of like a puppet, right? Like your energy is kind of like swinging from this high to low and it can be very exhilarating and it can also be very addicting humanity in general is very addicted to chasing the highs 
and running from the lows, right? This is duality. This is separation consciousness. This is fear-based consciousness. There's always something else to get. There's another high to chase. There's another thrill. And there's something to avoid, right? There's the, you want to avoid the lows and the pitfalls, but you can't have one without the other, right? When you're on a roller coaster and you're going up and you're going to have that amazing thrill, you're also going to have on the other side of that hill, when you start to go down, it's going to be the scariest thing you've ever experienced, right? So you, you, you have both. And so when you begin to check out from wanting to go to the amusement park and cash in your ticket every day because you want to cash that in and trade it in for the undisturbed contentment of being and peace within that is omnipresent in all situations where you can no longer be taken for a ride, so to speak, then you're no longer going to fit in to the mainstream way of living. And that is by design because you are a leader and a way shower of the new paradigm. So the key thing to understand here is when you are seeking fulfillment or pleasure or joy, in your life experience and you're seeking to fill this through these temporary highs, through pleasure seeking, through through the separate sense of self trying to make a good life for yourself, all of your attempts to fulfill your life experience through the separate self are failing or will fail if you're on this path because you're here to lead a new way of being, one that is not constantly running from what you don't want in order to seek outside of yourself something that you do want in order to give you that temporary um, high, that temporary thrill, that temporary pleasure that you're seeking. And, and you are here to lead the way. You are here to light the path for others. And you're at the forefront of this paradigm shift, which is, this is just, st- this is just the beginning of this paradigm shift. As you can see, You know, when you look out into the collective mainstream reality, right, which is why you've been purging so much and alchemizing so much of your own shadow because you are going first. You are the leader of this paradigm. You are meant to go through this alchemical process and be able to shine the light for others. which is what's going to be asked of you. But right now you're kind of going through this initiation process. And so, you know, any attempts or efforts on your part are leading you to, you know, walls. You're just hitting walls. There's nothing opening up and it feels like you're being blocked or um, things just aren't materializing. And that's because creating from the separate sense of self, creating from personal will, will always have the seed of its opposite and is doomed to fail. And you are no longer here to ride that roller coaster and get taken for a ride, right? That sucks you back into the matrix. So just know that everything that's happening right now, all of this is very purposeful and it's serving a very high, divinely guided purpose. You are, 
You are not off track. You're not going crazy. You're not failing. You're not anything like that. Those are all judgments from the personality self. You know in your heart that you are being divinely guided and it's imperative that you continue to bring your focused awareness back to the presence within your heart space and continue to connect with your heart and the divine intelligence that flows to you and through you and as you that is orchestrating everything. So this is being able to cultivate true spiritual vision. And true spiritual vision is being able to see beyond the illusion. And as you cultivate this, you're able to fully surrender the will, the personal will. And it kind of it kind of dissolves into div- into the divine will. The divine will takes over the steering wheel in your life. And so any fear-based attachments or projections or, you know, belief systems, conditioning, like all of that is coming up to be completely alchemized. You are becoming the great alchemist as you're able to surrender to the process, things begin to unfold. Synchronistically, miracles begin to occur. The success that you will, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The success that you will model for others will not come from the old ways of being, and you can't go back. You've come too far. You, you know too much. You, you, you see too much. You can't go back. And any attempts to go back as the ego tries to grasp at your comforts or, you know, trying to figure out You know, the mental body comes in trying to figure out your next step and logically trying to plan things and everything. Like all of that, all of that is going, is coming from the personal egoic will. This is a true surrender into the heart. This is true creating life from the heart, heart, heart heart-centered living, heart-centered creation, divine creation, divine creation cannot be based on the perception of the separate self and egoic needs of this perceived separate sense of being. So if you resonated with this message, you're not crazy, you're not failing, your things are not going wrong and these judgments these comparisons that you're placing upon the the life experience that you're having are natural but are also indicators of um, the very fear-based energy that is here to be uh, alchemized and you do that by coming back to the source within you and trusting in the journey, trusting in your calling. You've been primed and, and prepared for this your whole life and you're not alone. It may feel like that at times, but your solitude, your preparation phase you're moving through your own darkness and shadows 
All of this is very purposeful and very divinely guided as part of the path in order to emerge and shine the light for others. So if this message resonated um, and you got value from this, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. That really helps get the message out for those that that need it. And go ahead and hit subscribe if you're new here. Welcome if you're new. If you got value from this and it resonated, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Please let me know. If you want support on your journey, there are plenty of different ways to work together that you can find um, via the link wherever you're listening to this. And that's about it for now. Until next time, I hope this finds you well. Namaste.